let's go over some of the key planners that will be part of my lineup for 2025. And I really need some input from you guys to help me finalize what my final lineup will look like. So if you're keen on watching what made it and what didn't, stay tuned. <music> Everybody, this is Priya here welcome back to my channel if you're returning and if this is the first time thank you so much for stopping by here I share tips ideas and inspiration to make your planner and journal spreads pretty and functional so as you can see this is kind of the thought process I'm going through and as you can see there is a few planners here and my catch-all is not even here because that I think is kind of decided because I'm using an outdated planner that I happen to have in my stash. So I really need your input on helping me decide on my final lineup. And uh, without any further ado, let's get started. So let's get working on the current planners that are already in my life. And these are these two Laurel Denise planners. This is a horizontal and this is a vertical, but this is the portrait. So as you can see, it runs all the way through June of next year. Let me just open it. It runs all the way through June. And so I will be continuing with this. And when I'm done with this, I will make a call on if I want another portrait in my life. This is specifically for my son who is in his senior year of high school. So this, the purpose would have already been accomplished. So I really would need to consider if I need a portrait. So that is a decision to be made mid-year. And on to the next one, which is the horizontal weekly. And this is my space for some nutrition and wellness and the setup is already in my channel if you want to check it out and this also runs all the way through june of next year as you can see the tabs tell you and it's been really convenient i need not necessarily come and get to this every week but i've been finding this really useful so I can always grab undated ones that come out in Feb or March, just like the undated portrait that will be coming in early spring. And you can use my code PRIYA10 for 10% off at Laurel Denise. And you can stack them on top of the already existing reduced prices if there are any. So those two are definitely staying, no decisions to be made on those. And the next one is again a newer one, but this is specifically for the creative writing that I'm finally getting to. So I had really wanted to get started this year, but looks like I did not get to it because life has been really busy with my son being in the senior year and there are like lo lots of things that needs to be sorted. So I thought I would be putting myself through lots of pressure if I just started my journey alongside. So by December, the most of the rush should be done. So I'm hoping to be able to start afresh. This would be the space for me to put down everything related to that but it need not necessarily show up on my feed if you would like to see the pictures or how i'm using this please send me a message here or on instagram dance spreads in all these planners i'm talking about so this would be the project planner and this is the sunny days and this is the project edition and can you see that and it also has some of the additional pages in the back which i can definitely make use of because it already has all these inserts in here and this was a newer edition this time and i'm really hopeful that this will be a very useful layout so this was picked up earlier this year when it came out in the fall 
and I do not have to worry about having to get this to me on time or anything as an international planner. If you are an international planner, can you drop me a globe emoji in the comment so that we can cheer each other on? In addition to the project planner, which will not make it to YouTube regularly, I would also like to point out that this is another one I will be using, and this is the simple monthly layout from Laurel Denise. It's a very simple layout. And this is like the special dates and events. Let me just make sure it's on frame. So special dates and events. And we have this month. Nice and simple, nice big boxes for each of the days. And additional space for the notes here and here. I'm already starting to fill in. I was just waiting for this uh, video to be filmed to, just to start adding my things which are already starting to come. So these two will not be making it to the YouTube routinely. Once in a while, if you need pictures, as I said, please DM me here or on Instagram. And the next two will be these ones. So I was recently, I came across a couple of posts on Facebook. It was not the same one, but I, it was some... A Facebook group I do not remember which one but it was rarely talking about the gratitude aspect this is a current one which runs from July of 2024 all the way through June I can always redate the half year and use it for the entire month I don't think it will have much of an issue and this is the skinny mini which I've used for like three months and it's been it was really cute but then things started uh, getting really busy and i thought this could be put away for a bit so for next year so here's what you could help me with so i'm thinking of doing some gratitude journaling but again i do not want to have too much of to worry about in there so it would be something nice, something I'm thankful for and no repetitions. So that was something I found it was really interesting because you would start looking at all the things you take for granted. Let me know in the comments which of these I should go for that. Do you think I should go this because it has this much space? Maybe it makes more sense or the skinny mini is smaller clearly so this is the space difference and what do you think so please drop your thoughts below so that i can go through them and see if there are any other aspects that i have not thought about before i finalize this i'm leaning towards the skinny classic but i will see also a bit partial towards this pretty cover i i'm sure because nobody looks at the covers once you start using it you grab it you write it and put it away that's it right so that is one decision to be made and the next one will be this is not a decision per se this is the 2024 reflections and these are the goal setting companion notebooks so it's one for each quarter I did not pick up anything from this year. This was from the summer purchase. So there are four companion notebooks and this is just how the system works. If you're someone, someone new, you could use this for goal setting and the annual goals and all that. And this was in addition. I talked about this in detail in my goal setting system videos. So this is the Moxie Life system. And I think this will be a nice quick way of coming and making sure I am on track because this year I did see the results in front of my eyes. So this is the companion notebooks, one for each quarter. I think it will last me through the year. I'm hopeful it will be enough. And on to the next aspect of decision making, which is my social media. I know my catch-all is sorted and I also have a couple of other journals that will be coming. I'm just waiting for them to get to me before I can actually film the 
full lineup video and sh start setting up the full planners. So I'm trying to get a bit ahead because I, I do not want to have too much stress at the end of the year and start a new year on that note. So if you're with me, I think you should start looking at all the things you want in your life, grab them, start thinking about why you narrow down the planners you want to use because I have a video on the planner setup for 2025 called the prepare for 2025 series where I talk about the wish list as one before you start narrowing down and then the second video in the series will be coming soon because I'm still kind of uh, doing the editing the filming was all done but things got got really busy around here so it should be coming anytime now so please stay tuned for that so this is an older monthly layout and the monthly layout is something i use but i think this was in this is in the classic size but i think that since i use a big currently i'll show you the current one just a second so this is the big monthly i'm using and this is the december one so see that size difference if you can see i'll take a page out and show you so this is the classic and this is the big so you can see how much of a difference in size that is so my thought process is i will try and uh, recreate this layout with maybe a couple of changes here yeah with some changes to the layout i'm thinking of recreating it into the big because i want some more customization in the layout so i could do that and move to a big as i'm doing now because i did not find any big in the happy planner planners that came out i was really bummed and so with that i also have the advantage of using the thicker better quality paper that i purchase for all my inserts and i will have that linked if you want to if you are keen on getting a higher quality or a better quality paper for all your inserts i will have that linked and i really love the option of really using any mediums i would love to and not have to worry about even the stamping i don't think any of the stamps have ever bled through on that paper whereas on this i'm a bit scared so this is the big monthly so my question again is do i make it into a big with my changes or move down to a classic for the monthly layout so i'm not keen on the classic because i think classic is a bit too small for me because i've always preferred the big i started off with the big as a convenience factor that i can just punch whatever papers i can print out and have them added to my planners as they come especially from the school and that's how i got started and now i am really hesitant to move down to a classic so do you suggest i move down to a classic and then try it out since it's an undated one or test out the big so that's the option number two so you have to help me with those and i think that should be the quick thought process for the lineup as of now and as i mentioned i will be having the full full final final lineup ready once i hear your thoughts on this so once i have the planners with me i will have the final lineup ready for you and in the meantime if you can let me know how you would suggest i incorporate these that would be really helpful and uh, the journal setups are all coming because the lineup is going to be a bit more interesting i'm also trying to switch out a few things in my catch-all forgot to mention that so for the journals i will have a few additional journals i will have doing i will have in my lineup other than just my creative journal and my daily journal which are currently exist in there you will see a bit more of a creativity route being taken on that side as well so that should be coming again i'm expecting my package sometime next week so 
once that arrives i will have everything ready for you and uh, of course my reading journal will be there before i get asked so that is the full thought process and uh, yeah please come follow me on instagram i will i will have more spreads and more content out there please come check out the other setup videos and also check out the prepare for 2025 series that i just mentioned and don't forget to leave your comments as to what i should do regarding one the monthly layout and next the gratitude journal so these are the two decisions i need help with and your thought and your input are really really appreciated so let me know what your thoughts are and i will have all the shops and links and codes whatever i mentioned down in the description along with all the videos i mentioned that you might want to check out and if you like today's video and would you like to see more from me please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification so that you will see how i'm going forward with all the planners and journals i'm supposed to be with all the planners and journals that i'll be having in 2025 and uh, thank you so much for watching i will catch you in my next one bye